Now for this question, we've got a point O that's fixed in a point on this horizontal plane. And a ball is projected from O with a velocity of 6i plus 12j meters per second, where i and j are unit vectors taken horizontally and vertically, respectively. And we're told that this ball passes through a point A at a time t seconds. Let's just mark in that that time that it passes through there is at t seconds. And the point B is a point on this horizontal plane vertically below A in such a way that the distance OB equals twice the distance AB. And we've got to find the value of T. Now you'll notice that I've marked in the acceleration due to gravity as well. That acts vertically downwards. And when we do questions on projectiles, we normally have to consider the horizontal motion and the vertical motion separately. So how am I going to get this value t? Well, first of all, I'd want to say that OB equals twice this distance AB because that's what we're given. So let's suppose AB is, say, a distance h. Then OB would be a distance 2h. Now, in order to get that time then, I'm going to need to consider the horizontal motion so that I can get access to this value of h. So we do that by splitting our velocity into two components. Well, we know the horizontal component is 6 meters per second, and the vertical component will be 12 meters per second. So we start by considering the horizontal motion. So we'll just say consider horizontal motion. And if we do that, because acceleration acts perpendicular to the direction horizontally, then there is no acceleration on the ball in a horizontal sense. So it's going to move with a constant speed. That speed then is going to be, which we'll call uh, u if you like, that speed is going to be 6 units, 6 meters per second. And what else do we know? Well, we know the distance it travels is 2h, so we could ca call that s as 2h. And the equation that we use, because it's going with constant speed is going to be essentially the distance s equals u times t, the speed times the time. So if we fill this in now, we've got that therefore s is 2h and it equals u 6 times t. So you can see that h, let's just put it in, if we divide both sides by 2, h equals 3t. And we can use this value now when we consider the vertical motion. So let's consider the vertical motion over here. Consider the vertical motion. Now, when we're dealing with vertical motion, because there is this acceleration due to gravity acting on the ball, then we've got to use a SUVAP-based equation. S for displacement, U for initial velocity, V for final velocity, A for acceleration, and T for time. And we need a positive sense. And in the usual way, if you look at the point of projection, take the initial projection um, upwards as positive, okay? So we'll take that upwards. So S, remember, is displacement. And in an upward sense, when we get to this point A, at time t, then the displacement is h. As for u, we know what that component is. It's 12 meters per second upwards, so we've got 12 there. v, well, we don't know the final velocity at a, so we're not interested in that one. As for a, a is going to be minus g, because it acts in the opposite sense to this. T, well, T is the value that we're trying to find. So we're looking for 
an equation that links S, U, A and T together. And what's that going to be? Well, it's going to be S equals U, T plus a half A, T squared. So S equals U, T plus a half A, T squared. That's what we're going to be using. So we can now substitute our values in. For S, we've got H. So we've got H equals U, 12 times t, which is what we're trying to find, plus a half times a. Well, it's going to be plus a half times minus 9.8 times now t squared. Now we know what h is, okay? We know that h from over here was 3t. So we can substitute 3t into here. So if we do that, we therefore have 3t equals 12t and then we can say half of minus 9.8 is minus 4.9 so we've got minus 4.9t squared and we've got a quadratic equation here which we can rearrange if we were to add 4.9t squared to both sides we'd get 4.9t squared take 12t from both sides and you get 3t minus 12t is minus 9t and that equals zero and we can factorise this, we can pull out t as a common factor and get 4.9t minus 9 and that equals 0. And if we solve this, we'll either have this factor t which equals 0 or we've got the other factor 4.9t minus 9 equals 0. Well t can't equal 0 at this point here, okay, so that's not a valid solution. But it's this one, okay, that we're after. So since t's got to be greater than zero, we end up with, if we rearrange this by adding nine to both sides and dividing by 4.9, we end up with t equaling nine divided by 4.9. And if you work that out, you end up with 1.8367 and so on which when rounded, say, to three significant figures, is going to be 1.84. 1.84 seconds then to three significant figures. All right.